you don't like me. Uh, everybody wants to fight me. Do you feel it? Ah, welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Well, I already told you, man, we got some great outfits for you today. But before we get into that, we got another great addition <laughs> to your favorite show, Gone Time City Fashion. Let's go, man. Let's start it off, man. We give this a uh, uh, five out of ten. All right, five out of ten. Man. You know, you try to do it with the color scheme with the orange. You know, I'm feeling it. I like the components. Five out of ten. All right, I submitted that. Oh, uh, Lily, huh? This is definitely mods, so I'm gonna give it six out of ten. You know, for the mods, especially the Android 17 shoes. Man, oh, this is a this is a duh, this is a three. Oh, okay, yeah, the Chao Su saved it. The the Chao Su back bling saved it. Um, so yeah, let me give that a three out of ten. Ooh, I like the creativity here. This is Master Roshi, huh? I like this. I like this. Um. We'll give it a 7 out of 10. We'll give it a 7 out of 10. I like this creativity. I really like this creativity. This was nice. Yeah, the whole thing, too. The whole kit. Okay, okay. The one. Absolute one. Um, I'm speaking to my producers again. And no, I cannot give it a zero. I am sorry. Um, but the poop stick says it all. It's a, it's absolute one. Yes. What this is this has gotta be Luffy. This is creativity. Okay, I this is what I like to see in the lobby. So I'm, I'm gonna give this an eight. This is creativity, even though it's a female. I'm gonna give it an eight, okay? Designed by Ash. All right, with another one, man. All right. Yeah, all right, let's get into it. We got GT Goten. This is gonna be GT themed, okay? So we're gonna kick it off with GT Goten. Um, really, you get to see Goten shine a little bit, just a little bit, right? Um, we went on dates. He was doing his ting, but um, it's really easy to make. Up until we get like the post boy, um, I haven't gotten that yet because it's like so many points to get star points. So get the post boy if you have it. All right, if you have it already, if you got the post boy, get that. Um, color change that, make it all white. Otherwise, you're gonna have to drop. Get the pilot suit. Get the trendy or tuxedo pants. Really doesn't matter. I mean, either way, I just use the trendies because they don't do that little cuffling at the bottom. But if you don't have the trendy, you know do your thing with the tuxedo um now two different colors for this which is great because in in the show he did um have like a turquoise like top you know type type thing I try to get it a little, you know, a little green turquoise green but you know you did a little bit of it, you know, a little bit something you know but i like this outfit overall right it's a little go tin theme right um whew, as far as moves though yeah just run the bill i can't really think of any go tin moves he doesn't have any special attacks like Trunks has a lot of attacks, but Goten doesn't. So do whatever. <laughs> like I guess do whatever. I yeah, do whatever. I, I suggest y'all do whatever. Cause he, <laughs> yo, I still like the outfit though, nonetheless. All right. Yes, the Par Paros. All right, those are the three little dudes uh, that were using. It was like I don't know. What what, what would you call it? Telepathy, kind of. On, on, like, well, you know, controlling Goku and them with dance moves was cool. But the outfit's in there. He has a speaker box on his chest. That's how he does it. And then he gets the dancing. We have the move in the game. But he gets the dancing, does the dancing para para, and then he controls you or, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's, weird. It, it's weird. It's weird. I ain't gonna lie. GT has some weird stuff. But they had some good outfits. Now, I didn't use these because they don't go all the way to the bottom. And these do, so try those out. It'll go all the way to the bottom. I think this is lace. This is one of my favorite outfits to do. Honestly, it's really crazy. It really, really like this. Really sparks the creativity. Um, the Power Power Bros are really forgotten as far as GT. A lot of people don't know. But get the um one of them had a muscle shirt, like a pink one, so you can put that on if you want. Um, to do the color scheme. Because it was three brothers, so you know, you can, you know, do all three different things if you want. Um, but I, I rather just, you know, go with the boom box edition. Like on his chest, cause I like that. I like that the outfit that he had. As far as moves, dance, cause that's what they do. They dance to you know to control you a little bit. You know, so deadly dance, dance a par par. That's the move in there that they actually do. So that's pretty good. Um, and trap him with it. You know, do some more dancing. You know, I just run the mill. You know, I couldn't really think of anything. I'm not an old. I couldn't really think of anything. That's my bad though. <laughs> and then we don't have dance a par par in the lobby, which we should though. Kind of why we don't. But we should. Hopefully we get more emotes in the future. You know? Uh, 
Papaya Man. Yeah, it's Papaya Man. It's just ooh, you know, doing this great Saiyan Man thing. He was doing his ting with the great Saiyan Man type stuff. So um, it's, you know, ooh and a helmet. So it's really good. But with this new outfit we got at the Fuse Masu, you could do a great Papaya Man. Nearly perfect. This was amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was really hyped when I made like, yeah, it's Papaya Man. And with the new Piccolo helmet, it kind of fits. It just, we don't have the mohawk to it. You know, we're never gonna get that. But hey, hey, just add a helmet if you want. Have a mohawk, have Tavion's hair. I don't care. Do whatever you want. Like I showed you a little bit. I do another helmet. Great Saiyan Man works too. It doesn't matter. Any helmet, if you guys just don't have the other or the DLC, grab any helmet you want. You don't want the helmet on, don't put the helmet on. But um, it's just Oob's moves. Like I said, just Oob. So, but it was good to see him. <laughs> it was really good to see a Papaya Man. So, um, yeah, man. Real Oob move set. I like the lightning impact. That's one of my favorite moves. I'm not gonna hold you. I like that move a lot. Um, but yeah. Um, like I said, I like this outfit. This one is a good one, man. I've been doing this for years. <laughs> Doctor Mew. Um, he's, you know, he's like scientist, mad scientist, mad evil scientist. He's like Jero, right? But blue. He's a blue Jero. He's like alien and stuff. But it was funny how he died because, you know, this <laughs> baby just burst out of him like the alien. <laughs> like he Romulus. It was crazy. But this outfit, again, man, we're utilizing the brand new Fusamasu. And boom, it has such good things. You can make such great things with this, okay? Just slapping the mech in if you want slap on that bojack um hair and this this the only thing that disappointed me was the shoes because it's like trying to get the shoes accurate it's sometimes a pain because it's the shoes you want to go with so but it's not the shoes i wanted to go with but it's the shoes i had to go with that's that's the thing you know to complete the outfit but other than that i feel like it's pretty lazy it's pretty good um at least people know exactly who it is you know it's pretty cool like again i rock all these outfits you're seeing guys often on my cac which is really good um, I just closed messages though because I got tired of people spamming that crazy stuff. But uh, I'm telling you, these are good. These are lace and tea. People know exactly what's going on. And if you fight with these, I'm telling you, man, it can go pretty well for you. Especially, you know, we've got all these crazy attacks in the game. You know what I mean? So we can, you know, match the CACs up. But yeah, this one's a good outfit, all right? Dr. Mew, good, good, good. Cigarro, okay? He was that late lemur. You know, from GT when they did that, like, game. And you know what's crazy? I honestly think we got the board game in Budokai 2 because of this. I don't know. I'm just thinking. Because Budokai 2, you know, I, I don't know. I just think we got that board game because in Budokai 2 is a board game. But he is a lemur. Him and his son, um, they were trying to trick Goku, you know, to play that game. Because they were stuck on the high, uh, planet themselves. So, it was, you know, not much to do but to play a board game so they don't get killed. So, like... But you know, Goku for the rescue, they got him out of there, and then he ended up pulling Goku's tail out with pliers. <laughs> kind of weird. Because they can turn into stuff, so yeah. But I'd never made this outfit ever before on my channel, so th this is good. This is a one-on-one -on -one right here. This is pretty cool, man. I got the design really good. I like it, I really do. I was looking like, okay, I think we got something here, man. So, hey, first time's first, man. And this is a really good outfit, man. Other than the, you know, the, the accessory, we couldn't have it all black, you know, with the pointy head top thing. So that was the only thing, you know, other than that, I was like, man, if we could have something that's pointy, <laughs> but yeah, like the tail, this would have been great for the tail, the accessory, but you know, teachers though, I just stick with the Android uh, headpiece thing. Um, but again, I didn't know what to give because he pinged his board game pieces. He can turn into stuff too, like Poir and Oolong. So present for you fruit i don't know i didn't know what to do turn into anything i don't know weapons body change i didn't know what to do guys you turn into anything <laughs> so go crazy with the moose set if you want but at least you can make them now you know what i mean like go crazy you know we got the outfit in here nice all right real dope is pretty dope man general real dope, is dope he has like three different forms i'm only going to do this one for now um we try to you know do the other two a little later but um Rildo was pretty cool. Um, he he was like a weird android. He was like Terminator almost. It was wild. He had like three different stages. It was crazy. But um, Goku fought him. <laughs> straight whooping him. 
and he was working on Goku, I ain't gonna lie, but his outfit is really hard to do. It's really hard to match the colors and all that good stuff, but I tried my best. I've been doing this for, for, for pretty, yeah, pretty, like six years ago. I made like a version of this a long, long time ago, though. okay? So yeah, it, it just still hasn't really changed. That just goes to show you how this game is when it comes to giving us different clothes and outfits and characters. Like we still have to make, you know, this after six years. But you know, hopefully, man, and I, they probably won't most likely add him. But you know, we can't have Rocket Fist. Otherwise, you Soaring Fist. I don't know. Petrifying Spit because he can turn you into that metallic liquid stuff. Shouts to Gray Leo. Um, you know, Gigantic Roar. You know, he does low lot just in needles for the Dimension Ray, so go crazy. You know, go crazy with the moveset of your own. I don't know, like, I, I was just spitballing, I'm not gonna lie. Shout out to my, uh, my guy, Gray Leo, though. All right? Yes, Legic. Okay, Legic was one of my favorites, okay? Because he was a real fighter. He had honor. He didn't care about money and all that bull crap. He didn't care about Dao Tacky and, and Donkey and all those guys and Amuchi Muchi, Machi Machi, whatever his name was. <laughs> he didn't care about those dudes. He just wanted to fight, man. And that's why I like um Legic so much, right? He was a, like a pure fighter, man. That's what he that's what you like, man. Um so yeah, man, he let Goku and them things escape. It was pretty cool. But this outfit's pretty laced. I've been doing this for years too. Really easy to do. You see all the components, really easy. You don't even have to customize really at all. Like I didn't really customize at all. It was crazy. Like, I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> it almost nothing. Like, everything is there. All the components. So, that was real good. All right. The brother boost set, you know, because he can, you know, make weapons come out of nowhere. So, that's pretty cool. You know, try that out. Again, he can make weapons come out of nowhere. So, that's, you know, spears and swords and all type of stuff. Really key. I like that about Legend, though. Not a lie. Give the character. Ah, yes, yes, yes. All right. Down the jump. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, the uh, fuck. But let me know what you guys think, man. I'm, I'm <laughs> about the, all these outfits, man. Make sure you leave a like. Comment down below what outfits you like the most. You like this GT theme. I'm going to do another theme. I'm going to do more outfits. You already know I got way more outfits to come. Yeah, so we do an Xbox giveaway. So I want you guys to comment down below if you have an Xbox for the gift card. And uh, the question is... Who is my favorite cast character in Xenoverse 2? Okay, so whoever gets the correct answer down below will get the gift card. So I'll see y'all in the comment section. All right, peace.